Alan Abdalla. I'm the general manager at the Venus de Milo restaurant. I've been here 34 years. Actually, it's, it's family owned. It, it was started by uh, Mansour Ferris, um, built in 1959, 1960, and it actually started out as a bowling alley. Um, the story I heard was they had an extra room um, and they began selling food. That became so popular that they uh, created a, a lounge, uh, which is the Apollo Lounge as it stands today. Um, sold more food there. Uh, it was a place for people to come and, and spend Friday, Saturday nights. Um, they ran uh, different types of shows, I guess, hired bands or DJs to play, and it was just the hot spot in town. Um, and it became very popular. People from Providence, Fall River, New Bedford, um, you know, came to the Venus de Milo for entertainment, a uh, place to spend weekend nights, nights during the week, um, and the popularity grew from, from there. Uh, it wasn't until, I believe, 1972, 73 that they converted, um, actually, just where we're sitting over here, uh, the bowling alleys to a banquet hall. Um, you can still see the lanes and alleys where they were located. Um, uh, and then, in 1978, they added this room here, Athena 3, which opened up the ballroom, the one big room that can seat about 1,500 people. We try and give people unbelievable value. Um, service, uh, value, uh, a good bang for your buck. Um, we, uh, you know, word of mouth when we have people in here, uh, every, every party we do is, is like a show for everybody else. All the guests that are here, we try and make a good impression on them. So whenever they're planning their functions, whether it be a softball banquet, a, a wedding, uh, any type of function at all, We'll make a good impression on them and give them good value so they'll be able to think of us whenever they're planning any of their events. There's, there's a combination of seven different rooms. Um, can be split up seven different ways or they can be uh, all individual rooms. Coming up during the Christmas season, uh, the Charlton uh, Memorial, uh, Charlton Hospital Party, South Coast Hospitals. Uh, that's probably one of our biggest ones during the year. Uh, the Providence Journal Party is also one of the biggest ones. Uh, Providence Journal probably ranges in the 1200 uh, capacity range and that takes up our ballroom. Uh, in addition to that, there's, there's still three other rooms that would be available, three or four other rooms, depending on your, how you break it up, for other functions to be held. Uh, New Year's Eve, all the holidays, Generally, they do about 2,000 to 3,000 people here on those uh, special holidays. Wide range of food, um, anything from uh, beef, prime rib dishes, fish dishes, seafood dishes. So it's the whole it's the whole gamut. They try try and keep everybody everybody happy with a wide variety. In our dining room, the signature dish, dish is the baked stuff uh, lobsters which we have three different sizes, but the, the three and a half pound baked stuffed lobster, stiff, stuffed with additional lobster meat, is, is like the signature item for the dining room. Uh, you know, prime rib, shrimp dinners, those are also very, very popular too. Along with the minestrone soup, where they uh, have available for takeout, and different days, depending on the weather, especially when it gets cold, they can sell upwards of two, 300 containers of soup in a given day. We try and uh, put center of, center of the plate value um, for every dish that we sell. He's not going to, the owner, uh, Monty Ferris, who's the current owner at this time from the Ferris family, um, the son of the original owner, uh, will not sacrifice quality of food. Um, so he is always looking for the best ingredients, the best quality food, um, best product to uh, put and impress the customer with. Actually, Emeril uh, did work here uh, when he first got out of college. He was friends with one of our chefs who already had worked at the Venus de Milo. So Emeril came on board, basically I think one of his first chef job, chef's job. Um, worked with us for a short time, maybe a year to two years. Um, and then he sort of built a pretty good career after that. So we, we got him off to a good start. People who visited here, Frank, Frank Sinatra, 
um, John Kennedy, Danny Thomas from years ago, um, sports celebrities um, from Bill Russell was here, uh, Bill Walton was here um, on a small scale, Troy Brown, um, I think Alan Bean, one of the astronauts who landed on the moon was here. Um, so a lot of different people have come, come through these doors. There's probably numerous others who I didn't even mention, but uh, those are some of them that come to mind quickly.